We're live. Hey, y'all. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Creating with Chris Hunter with Michael Conant. And my microphone. His new microphone. My new microphone. Michael is excited because he got a new microphone and now he won't have to yell at the at the um, screen anymore. So we want to so. hear. Do what? I, do you see a slide on Facebook? I'm going to look right now. I don't see a slide on there. You may need to refresh because here we are. There we are. Right there. Right there. Hello, everybody. Terry Lightseat. Terry. Terry was our savior. We were hearing echoes. Terry came in and took care of us. That's not oh. an echo. That's just Michael with his volume. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I turned myself down. Hello, Della Warren. Hello, Kate. Can you guys hear me better? I got a mic. What do you guys think? Hi, hey, Cheryl. Cheryl. Hi, Susan. Hi, Rita Montgomery. Hi, Kay Silver. Hello, Carol Edison. Hello from Sol Melissa from Sawmill, North Carolina. Hey, Cur hey Becky. How are you? Hi there. Oh. <laughs> oh. That makes us big. That Well, Michael, mm. I know it's something we need to get over. I know. Hello, Kathy Conant. Kathy Conant made eggplant parmesan yesterday for the first time. And she said it was delicious. Yum. I am yeah. hungry. I know. Um, hi, Trisha. Oh, she can hear me better. Amazon. I'll put it on my Amazon store right now. What? Did Did you see my... Oh, you didn't. I, I got um, ink fountain pens. And we were writing with them. Do you know what I'm oh, talking about? Not the ones. Mm, let me show you. We might not get the lampshade done tonight. Just saying. Hello, Ellen Fisher. How are you? Oh, I'm so glad Edith can hear me a lot better. Um, Della Warren is not seeing comments. Della, you're not seeing comments? Della, go out and come back in. That go might out. help. Yes, it's not Saturday Night Live. <laughs> We're just doing Thursday. I'm here to... I don't, Mate, do I need to scoop this one this way? Maybe. Yeah, there we go. That's better. So, Chris, I want to talk to you about something. Oh, I love those. Do you? Yes. Are you yes, writing I with did them? that? I did that. You, you did that. <laughs> That's awesome. Look. Well, I love you so much, too. <laughs> Aren't they cool? They are cool. They're glass. They're hand-blown glass fountain pens. And Amy, it is dark behind me. Let me see. I'm in a, my office is navy blue. Um, let me see if I can make it better for you. And this one. Here's another oh, one. It makes you feel really fancy when you're writing. I bet it like, does. When I sign my will, I'm going to take this with me. <laughs> Alice, um, it's nice to see you too. I'm sorry you've been in bed all day with your tummy sick. Oh, Alice, I'm sorry. No, the lens is not. Well, let me see. It, I think it's I, I think it's just your lighting. It's good it makes, light. It makes you be a little fuzzy. Dreamy. Dreamy. You're dreamy, Michael. It's nighttime. Like, dreamy. dreamy. Trisha said she needs to feel fancy. I'm putting them on my Amazon store right now so you can feel fancy, sister. And I recommend this one because this one makes you feel the fanciest. Look. Oh. So, like, I can't, I'm pointing at it, like you can see. So, the 
ink goes into those grooves. I'll and show they, yes. Yes. I used to have a pair of those. A pair? What happened to them? Um I don't remember. So when I'm doing my journals and I do some fancy lettering, mm -hmm. it'll be very cool. Oh, Trisha said, paint party with Lydia. Hello. Hello. Hey, Alice. Lydia. Alice, how are you? Is it Paget? Paget. 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 It's wonderful. To see. It's wonderful that you're here. Patricia loves those pens. So Kathy Conant said she wants to see that damn. Oh. The lamp. The lamp. The lamp. The lamp. I think she told me that yesterday. We need to see the lamp. Okay, y'all, this is the box I did yesterday. Remember? I just want to remind you all how beautiful it is. Look at how gorgeous the ends turned out. I'm not using a filter, but I agree with somebody else finds using. I feel like it's like really clear. Um, if a filter on, I don't know if it's on. And then this is what we made in private group. I did do a mask tonight. That could be what it is. Oh, that's cute. Now, what exactly are you going to do with that? Or is it just Easter decoration? It's an Easter decoration. Very good. Very good. I like it. Now, did you paint the whole thing? No, this 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 is a printable that I made. Okay. And so yes. did you make the outside? Uh-huh. Yes, oh. with wood you bend. So it's pieces of wood. Hold on, I'll grab one and I'll show you. Bernard, get out of my way, sis brother. Brother, get out of the way. Um She okay, everybody. She is putting that on uh, her Amazon. Yes, I'm putting the pins on my Amazon right now. So, this all of this different wood trim mm -hmm. is made from things like this. Okay. And you heat it, you heat it up, and you can cut it and bend it and mold it and put it wherever you want on it. It's called Wood You Bend. So, like, would this go, like, on a hutch? Yeah. Yeah, you'd put it on your hutch. You could put it on the hearth of your fireplace. You could. Could I use that at the, that at the wedding? You totally could. It'd be darling at the wedding, actually. But I don't think they're having an Easter wedding, are they? Well, thank you, Bonnie. I'm glad I got to join you tonight, too. You guys, I went to... Uh, spin class at 5 a.m. this morning. 5 a.m. I was in spin class. What's wrong with you? Well, you know, I got up. This is what I did. I have that clock that cast on the ceiling. Uh, oh, yes. It was four o'clock. And I said, if I am not back in bed, if I'm not back asleep by 420, I'm getting out of the bed and I'm going to spin class. There you so go. Did. Yeah. So you oh, did. Levada, Levada. Levada, Levada. Levada. She has a spot on her piano for that egg. She does. Well, she probably could get it in my next auction. Amy, what are you doing? Amy needs to stop watching these scary shows on the ID Channel Network. They are weirding her out. What did she watch? What did you watch, Amy, that's making you scared? A baby girl's room is where that could, where you could put that? It would be cute in a baby girl's room. <laughs> Trisha Hodge says, would you, Ben, could be your friend? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. That's would you, Ben, is one of the most amazing products. Charlotte, okay. that's why I was drinking. Uh, Patricia, it's 55 degrees in her bedroom. Lily Rose is at Patricia, do you not have heat? She's in the UK. Oh, I would trade places with her right now. Charlotte, are you drinking? Who does that? I'm so proud of you. 
Well, I've been doing it a lot this week. Um, so, yeah. He's he's having a week. I'm having a week, you guys. I am definitely having a week. Okay, I put those pins under Chris's favorite craft supplies on Amazon. Both sets. So you can pick and choose or go in and find your own. But these were like the best deals with the best reviews that I found. Like the one that has the two pins in it, it's only $19.99 with... Um, so you get the ink well, the ink too? 14, 14 different inks and two pins. Oh. So to try it out, I thought it was good. I wanted to try them out. And now I feel so fancy. I'm I'm going to be looking for like to collect some probably from really important glass people. You think Chihuly makes those? Chihuly? Not, not Chihuly. Chihuly. They'd be about 10,000 a piece. Uh, I Chris, know. As a designer, it could be my friend and I have used that. And Amy, quit watching the ID channel. Turn on the Golden Girls. Come on. Don't get Seinfeld. Something. You get hooked into it. Addison gets hooked into those things. She watches. She's. We're does, manifesting positivity tonight, yeah, y'all. Manifesting positivity. Okay. Uh, she, okay. Ellen Fisher has not had heat all winter. Now she's in England, right? UK. Yeah. Ellen Fisher's not in the UK. Well, well, Ellen, how come you haven't had heat all winter? What well, it, maybe it's been warm enough that she hadn't had to. Tina, it's kind of crazy. I've barely had my heater on this so uh, this winter. Thank, thank you, Tina, for uh, putting me in your prayers. Um, I will pray for you too. I like that. So, um, do you guys want to see what I am working on this week? I yes. can't. See, I can't tell you everything about it, but I'll just give you my. I'll give you my. Uh, I am trying to. Let me see here. I am, oh, she's going to pull up the lamp. I am working on something that's kind of a secret and I can't really say out loud, but when it's all done, I will tell you, but it involves my mom's. Don't give away too much. Don't say any more. Wedding pictures. Don't say any more. Well, I'm not saying any more. I'm just showing the pictures. Oh, okay. So. I have some stuff I got in the mail today, too. <laughs> Josie says, do tell. Josie, I can't tell you everything. Oh, yes, I did do my vision board. I will show you my vision board. I can show you that. Am I interrupting you? No. no, no. This is technically your show. No, we came on to to chat, and if we get the lamp made, we get the lamp made. If we don't, we'll do it tomorrow. I think, I think Kathy Konat is in eight inches of snow, and she wants to see that lampshade. But I'll explain my... This is it so far. And nothing else has happened. No, I, ha I told them I wouldn't do anything to it unless I did it live. So does that... Okay, so I'm going to show my... Uh, Oh, Sue says, can I whisper? Am I too loud now? Someone up here just said that they're in South Africa. Hello, South Africa. Caroline said, we're in South Africa and it's hot. Can't wait for winter. So, oh, so is that kind of like how New Zealand is? I guess. I didn't realize they were on the same. Are they? I, I guess. Know. Hmm. Josie is getting a lot of hellos, a lot of hellos. Thank you. It is a beautiful picture of my mom. Thank you. Thank you. Um, oh, whisper what you were working on. Oh, okay. 
Uh, what's a spin class? A spin class is stationary bikes. So it's kind of actually kind of funny because at five o'clock in the morning, it's not really funny. So you go in there and it's a, it's a stationary bike and you get on it. But the person that leads the class is like, come on, let everything out, let it all out. And up on these TVs, they, um, like they show how fast you're going. I was in, I was in first place today. I think that you should probably carry a weapon to a class like that because I think there must be psychotic people in that class. No, it was actually that time of day. You know what? At first, I thought this is a little uh, crazy. Michael, but just journal. That's I'm just telling you. Just, just a little, but you know what? Everybody is so positive. I and love that. So I like that part of it, but it is a little crazy to get up at four thirty in the morning and go to spin class. So. Does Wayne go with you? No. 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 I'm lucky I go with me. Designs by Dina's in the house. Hey, sister. No, I can't tell you guys. What I promise in a couple of weeks I'll be able to share it all. And Addison has been helping me with it. It's really good. It's really going to mean a lot. And... Oh, Carrie met Carrie. And you can't tell any more. Please don't say one more word. Somebody's listening that is in my family. Oh. Huh. What's that? Is that your lampshade? It's going to be a book cover. Is that your lampshade? Shut up, Michael. <laughs> oh, they want to see the vision board. I don't think so. Okay, so um, here's my vision board. Can I see it? There we go. Hello, Lori. Okay, so that's my Four vision. 5 p.m. That's right, Tricia. So this is because uh, after about four years of three years of a lot of loss, I feel like it's time to come out again. Uh, a fire inside of me. This obviously is my spirituality, essential ener energy. Are you real? Uh, is me trying to keep myself real. Uh, one act of kindness at a time. And this is how the world changes, meaning this guy. And essential energy is me just keeping my health and my mental, it's essential. And then down here, if I get it, investing in life and stepping up. Yeah. That's cool, Michael. No, Michael, this is going to be, this is like, um, we did this in our journal junkies group with mom. And we just took scrap papers. I mean, scrap fabrics. Fabric. And Mm -hmm. We glued them to a well, back, to, back to truck up. Uh huh. Is you that, see it? Is that fabric from me? Yes. I knew that it. Right there. This, that one's from me. That's expensive yeah. fabric. I know. We were talking about it in the class, and I said, "Mom said, don't we have a big piece of that?" And I said, "Yeah, I just took the the uneven edge off of it. Is what I took yeah. off of it, but." How pretty. Isn't so it you, cool? It is cool. What are you going to do with that now? It goes on your journey. Wait, let me show you. This is the really cool, fun part of it. Okay. Look, I slow stitched on there. Oh. These are French knots, embroidered, embroidered French knots. Mm -hmm. And I put little grass. I just did some slow stitching, which is very calming, very... Um, therapeutic you just sit and you don't stress about anything which is nice every now and then you know yeah it is and nice. then on this side and look what i did here he's holding a poppy and when i tore this fabric it cut off the stem of the poppy so i embroidered the stem over onto another piece of fabric oh and there's more of that other fabric uh-huh no it's the same it's the same one. No, that's the fabric that came from me, right? The one. Yeah, under this one. 
Yeah, but, it goes with that. It it was with this one. It's yeah. all the same pattern, same cool. thing. So anyway, so we did this in our journal junkies class and we, mom and I were talking and y'all, you should come join us for journal junkies. The price is going up on Friday, um, which is tomorrow. So what do you mean? The price is going? Um, it is a paid subscription group. We do books in there. We show um, how to do lots of things. Um, as far as journaling and building books. And right now our theme book is contentment. That's the theme for our book. Intentment. Content. Contentment. Contentment. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And so it's, it's going to be like um, lots of inspirational stuff in it. Things that bring you joy, things that, because I think, so often in our lives, Michael, you, I, I would think you would probably agree with this. So often in our lives, we're so busy doing so many other things and so many things for other people. We sometimes forget what brings us contentment. And so this book is going to be all about journaling reminders of what makes us content, what brings us joy, what brings calm and peace to our lives. And because I think we forget to think about ourselves, those of us, I am this type of person, Michael, I know you're this type of person. We don't worry about filling our own cup up. We're filling all the other cups up around us. Ours gets empty and we can't fill anybody's cup up when ours is in empty. Oh no, you can't. So that's, no. that's kind of, um, the, the, um, theme of the book and comfort things that are, you know, I said, put your favorite recipes in there, comforting recipes, something that maybe when you're not having a great day and you're looking through your book and you're like, oh, I'm going to make those cookies because you know what? They just bring back such great memories from when I was a kid or this or that. And it's just going to make me feel good today. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. Um, so anyway, our price is going to go up Friday. We have a lot, a lot, a lot of content in that group. Right now, the price is only $17 a month. And we meet once a week on Wednesdays. And we're adding additional times that we're going to be meeting because we have so many things we want to do in there. We, we meet and we meet for between three and four hours at a time. And it was when it started, we were going to meet once a week for an hour and, you know, go on our jolly old way. But it's become an amazing community and the um, just the the joy that's coming out of it and the fun we have in the time I get to spend with my mother. You guys, she's probably on. Oh, no, it's Thursday night. They're probably at the casino. So we probably can say that you never know what's going to come out of my mama's mouth. <laughs> Do you girls? They know they're they're They know they know. Um, but it's so much fun. It's so much fun. And my mom is just having a ball with it. She is having so much fun with it. So anyway. Um. So, Ellen Fisher, I am so sorry. She's having an oil tank problem. Uh, to get heat. Yuck. Um, let's see. Yes, I love Karen too. She is so sweet. I'm trying to just give you some um paint party. Yes, Josie's. Josie said on her vision board, board she has the same thing. Take care of herself so she can give more to others. Sue, thank you. She loves what I put on my vision board. Um, is slow stitching the same thing as hand embroidery? Yes. Do you use an iron and fuse fabric to fuse it together? No, that is actually glued with fabric tack onto the so the fabrics are glued to another fabric but i'm gonna do some crazy stitching on it kind of like crazy quilts i'm gonna um sew over the top of it to make the cover and Great. then it, and then it will go over it will it will i will glue it onto 
a hardback book that is no good anymore, essentially, that's been gutted. I'll show you. And then Hi Colleen. Price is going is the price going up tomorrow or after tomorrow? The price will go up after midnight tomorrow. Yep, uh, the price is going up after midnight tomorrow. Um, but y'all don't tell mom because the price was supposed to go up this Wednesday, this past Wednesday. And Trish, I just haven't done it. I have to shout out to Trisha. I had to read her comment. Uh, yes, Trisha, I just saw it. I'm going back through and trying to balance this. Thank you very much for saying that to me. It means a lot, actually. And um, it's hard to uh, come out and play when you've gone through so much loss, but you have to try and show up. But I appreciate the encouragement and thank you very much. Hello, Judy. Um, from, oh, what is it? What from 19 to what? $29.99? It, it's, it's actually 17 right now and it will be going to 27. Wow. Good for you. It should. That's it. it there's, a, we have a lot, a, a lot of content in there. So. Yeah, absolutely. Hello, Catherine Murphy. I hope you're doing well tonight. Uh, Kathy Keat just joined the chat from Australia. Hello from Australia. Hey, Kath. So, um, I uh, have a question. We need to ask two questions. Okay. So one's kind of serious. Well, do you want to get working on that and then we can ask the questions or you want to ask, you want to talk? Okay. Yeah, let's so um, this is uh, a bit depressing, but here in Oklahoma, it's not depressing, but it's real news. Here in Oklahoma, a young man at school um, tried to commit suicide in the bathroom of his school. When? Um, uh, it was, I think, last week. or this I don't week. watch the news. And this yeah, is I, don't, I don't either. I don't either. And But one thing I was talking about with someone tonight that I wanted to get everybody's opinion about is um, and then like a day later, another person at that school actually. So the kid tried to kill himself in the bathroom at school oh. and they took him to the hospital. He ended up not, he ended up passing away. Oh. Then a day later, uh, another girl committed suicide. Oh, in the so, same school? Yes, but I have a theory I want to share with everybody. Do you not feel, because... Do you not feel it was from bullying? But don't you think that bullying starts at home? Do you want me to explain? Yeah, please explain because I, I'm going to say I think we. That's a real touchy subject. Go ahead. Explain. Is it too touchy? Should we not talk about it? No, no, it's real life. Okay. We've talked about, we're going to talk about real life when we're together, right? So this is what I feel, and I kind of had some personal experience with this. I, not from me being bullied, but I feel like that people, that when we tell our children, so I'm going to use this as an example. So if I say to you, Chris, you're my, say you're my child. You should not, you should wear a hat. You shouldn't wear hats. You look, you look, you look stupid in a hat. So sometimes parents are flippant and don't realize what they say. But a kid takes you as a, as somebody in authority. So then that kid goes to school and sees another kid in a hat and says, you look stupid in that hat. 
So do you see, do you see what I'm saying? Oh, absolutely. I Does think a lot of true bullies, true bullies, I think the word bully or calling someone a bully or saying I am bullied, I feel like it's very overused. Mm -hmm. uh, because I think that we have made without, I know there's bullies. I know that there are people that are being bullied. I know that there are people that emotionally can't handle um, something like that. But I also know that I feel like sometimes we're not equipping our children with the tools to deal with those type of, types of things. No, we're not. Somebody just said this. What, so what do I think the bully, bullying comes from their home life? I'm saying that sometimes when we're flippant about what we say, like, like I said, you look stupid, you don't. But some say someone was say you look stupid as as flippant as we might be to our children don't don't you know you look stupid in that hat well then we're their authority right then when they go to school and they see someone in a hat they, they repeat it they repeat they things we say mm -hmm. yeah yeah, yeah. No, I agree. I agree. I think that um, I think that being a bully is a learned behavior. Yeah. I truly think it's a learned behavior. Yeah. Um, I'm going to be totally honest about something about suicide. Um, my... My grandfather um, committed suicide. And I think that I think that my grandmother bullied him. And I'm not saying that suicide is just caused by bullying. I think there's things in a chemical imbalance can happen, mm -hmm. but he could never make her happy. And even as a kid, that was apparent to me, you know, mm -hmm. it was my dad's, it's my dad's parents and he could never make her happy. And so, suicide just leaves people. <laughs> well, suicide I mean, it's so hard on the people left behind. Right, right. It's so hard on the people left behind. I, let me, I, I'll read comments, but okay. um, I'll read comments, but I do want to say that, like, I hope that if anybody has had to ever deal with suicide, I'm sorry. It's the worst. It, my dad was, a changed person after it happened. I think, uh, I don't think I really ever came to peace with it. I was only, I think I was like, hey, Maria Nova. Huh? I was saying hi to, to someone in the comments. I just think that, uh, it really like leaves a lot, you know, and at such a young age, talking about these kids and stuff like that. But I think my whole point to wrap that up, because I don't want to stay in a dark place all night, is I just think sometimes with parents, we're so flippant, like, don't wear that, you look stupid, or don't do that. Yeah. They turn around and say that, and then they're the bully at school. And I don't even, even when the parent says, don't wear that, you look stupid, I don't think that they're meaning to be what they're doing. I don't think they mean to be bullying. But do you see what I'm saying? Because you're yes. a person of authority. And so just like me, you think your mom is right. You thought she was right until you. Yeah. Yeah. You'll think my mom is right. You know what I mean? But yeah. So. Well, Colleen, I just saw Colleen Brown just said um, saying something nice isn't always bullying. And that is true. That's where I said that I feel like being bullied or bullying is, is 
it's a very loosely used term now. Right. Right. It's very loosely used. Um, you know, you even hear kids say he's being a bully. Well, he really wasn't being a bully. He was chasing her around on the playground because he has a little crush on her or what, you know what I'm saying? Right. Right. Um, I, I think that, I think that parents need to take control of that back and need to guide um, their children. Someone just said, Lydia, I think said, when you, ch when you raise your children with kindness, you normally raise kind children. Yes. Yeah. I believe that. Hey, Bryce. Okay, so I'm going to read some things. Uh, Kathy Keith. Um, I assume they. Oh, Heidi, thank you. Oh, and I'm. Oh, oh. You're well. You're just. Oh, I know. Heidi was. Heidi's telling me that her. She's sorry about my grandfather, but she had a close friend that committed suicide, and kind of the same thing. And she brings up a valid point, whether she meant to or not, is her close friend committed suicide and his wife was saying mean things to him on social media. That's oh. the, that is the other thing about today. Everybody hides behind social media and behind text. Nobody wants to talk face to face. Well, I, got and, the I got the most hilarious message from somebody. In that message, they were critiquing how I start things out on my, hi, welcome to Creating with Chris Hunter. Hello, so-and-so. Hello, so-and-so. Oh, da, da da You know, I'm talking to people and they, and she said, you're screaming at us and you are, do you really feel like, do you really think those people are so insecure that they need to all hear, hear their name said? Can you just get on with it? You make me want to poke my eyeballs out with forks. And I, I got this message. Exactly. Change the channel. The channel. So I get this message today and I was like, you know what? This person apparently is having a really bad day. And I said, Wow. I have no idea how to even respond to this, but I want to start out by saying this message makes me very sad because the only reason I ever started this page was to spread joy. And right. if me saying hello to my friends brings my friends joy or brings me joy, because some people in our family here at Creating with Chris Hunter, I may be the only person they see that day. And my smile, my hello might be the only one get, they, that they get that day. And it might be the only thing that brings them joy that day or that kind of joy. And so that has always been my purpose. And so I said, I'm so, I'm sorry. I apologize that you do not like it and you don't find joy here or no. I said, but I will always be unapologetically myself. I will always say hello to my friends. And if I truly make you want to poke your eyeballs out with forks, immediately get off the computer. Because I'm like, what? And I was just like. You, you could have just said, uh, my intentions to only spread joy. Oh, I know, but I was. No, but, but it's good. My response I, was really good, actually. My response. Yeah, was no, really your good. response was good, but your response is something you should have given to me if I was to say something stupid like that. Yes, Sorry. yes, but yes. You see what I mean? She didn't deserve all that explanation. Yes. And I she, said I was talking to somebody <laughs> about it, and they said, you know, it it makes you hope that they feel bad about what they wrote you. And I said, what it did is it made me pray for them. And I'm praying that they have a change of heart and that they will respond to that message. And they will say, you know what? Maybe I was a little bit dramatic and we can all go on our merry way. But yeah. that's 
we are all dealing with things, whether it's some rude person calling us on the phone and telling us we have to do this or have to do that or whatever, or um, family members or um, neighbors, people on the internet. We all run into that. And it is my hope and prayer that everybody, but it's never going to happen, but I just wish that everybody could find enough value in themselves to know that those people don't matter. Those people don't matter. I agree. So, I agree. But we Lydia's, have to teach that. We have to teach that. Okay. Paint party with Lydia says hurt people, hurt people. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to bring this down here so I can read it a little better. Sorry. Mm. Okay. If you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. That's an oldie but a goodie. Yes. Uh, Tiffany said that. I think that persons going around saying it, everybody, because you're about the sixth person that has had somebody, hey, they didn't like that hello, didn't like the hellos to everybody. Well, oh, really? As you guys... Uh, I think every time you acknowledge your friends and let them know you are happy we joined with you. That's what Stephen, that's what Kathy Gonat said. That is certainly true for me. I appreciate I appreciate the acknowledgement. Uh, you pray it and it means a lot to me. I'm in to list my day. I love to hear you talk to me the way you've been a great friend to us all. Uh, when you say hi to me, I know that you know I'm there with you and feel good knowing you care. So true, Chris. Absolutely, Chris. You may be the only person said hello to that day. Amen, sister. Just prayer for her must be abused in her way to lash out. They love to see your happy face. That's why I watch Crafters. I receive joy. Makes me happy. Della Warren. I like you saying my name. Rhonda Marie Reader. Let's all say Rhonda Marie Reader. <laughs> um, there was a girl okay Levada okay Levada Levada a lot of children don't have a family life and learn what their friends do most of the time it's bad that's true that's very true um, uh, Kathleen Robbins hello from Cape May New Jersey um Rochelle loves it when you call out her name. Amy. Amy, I am really, I was bullied when I was younger too. And I understand that. And I am sorry that you went through that. And it is, it is, uh, Maria, hello, hello, Maria. I didn't see you were on here. Um, paint party with Lydia. Paint party with Lydia. Her parents are, were so critical. They, you know, they put her down. Told her she was tired. I'm sorry about that. I hate that. Oh. Um, Jerry Pearsall or Ger Jerry Pearsall, I totally agree with you. People put up signs. Uh, Julie Darnell Webb, hello, hello, how are you? It's good to see you on here. Uh, Delaware, hello, sis Maria. Uh, Heidi, I read that one. Um, Uh, Kath Keat, I was bullied in primary school, then years later I went to a school reunion, and as the saying goes, you could have knocked me over with a feather. Wow. I think that happens to a lot of us. Yeah. For sure. Uh, Josie Reed, I also think we now live in a world where kids aren't being parented and they're left to navigate life, which is very scary alone. It's actually 
an all around sad situation for both sides. The one being bullied for sure, but the bully also has some deep seated issues as well. Absolutely. I agree. I always correct my grown children in front of their children when they feel they are saying something their kids shouldn't hear, like I hate and so and so. No, we don't use the word hate. We say I dislike. Very good. Um, Sue said, I children are a product of their environment. I was verbally abused in two marriages. So the children who are doing the bullying have probably come from an environment where they are bullied. In one of a thousand ways. Sue, that is so true. Um, my 14-year-old son who is autistic and does go to school with only kids with autism and ADHD, they have AIDS in all the classes. He's been being bullied by the same boy all school year. And last Monday, it, came physical, it became physical where the other kids punched my grandson in the head. We were at my brother's funeral luncheon when we got the call about it she got a text from her son stating i'm not worth anything i don't need to be here terry that is awful that is awful and you would think you know because you would think she'd maybe have a false sense of security because he's with people with the same with autism you know what i mean that maybe there'd be some that's also often horrible. Oh, Lori Ramirez. Um, wow. Thank you for sharing that. Um, her second to the oldest son tried to, and her daughter came home just in time to find her brother hanging. I'm so. I'm so grateful the Lord was, I hope that now he is uh, at peace, at uh, not, peace. not, you know, that he feels peace. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. And then Trisha, I'm sorry about your biological dad. It is, it is hard what they leave behind. Mm. Um, Alice Gregory, um, her nephew committed suicide. I can't believe the people who uh, are on here, you know, I kind of thought that the situation with my grandmother and grandfather, their marriage and stuff like that, and him committing suicide, it's kind of nice, not nice, but it's kind of uh, to see that other people went through the same thing. They were in a bad marriage. Uh, Alice is saying her nephew did it and they believe that his wife was a bully and that's maybe why he did it. I mean, and it's so hard when you love somebody, what you say is so powerful to people that you love and some people just exploit that to the fullest. Yes, yes. Oh, Jerry, I'm sorry. She she's 72. She's she's 72 years old and she's bullied by adult seniors that live in a senior independent housing there. Isn't that awful? Unplug I them. I just read that. That's also awful. Read, I'm so sorry for your brother. Um Charlotte saying the same thing about. Uh, she had a childhood friend whose father bullied his mom and she committed suicide. Oh. Giving a not so nice comment isn't always bullying, depending if it was meant for constructive criticism. Colleen, I, I agree with that. I'm just saying that. I don't know about that one. Um, kids are... I think kids take things when you're an authority to a kid, you know what I mean? You're an authoritative figure. They think you're right. So then when they repeat that, does that make sense? I think sense? it's all in the way it's said to them. Mm -hmm. I think it's all in the way it's said to them for sure. 
um, like I may have worn something that my mom didn't want me to wear and she probably thought it was stupid, but instead of saying that looks stupid on you, she would say, is that really what you want to wear? What, you know, maybe we should find something else to wear rather than you are not wearing that. It looks stupid. I think today, honestly, I think today they get hung up on things that are, uh, I think that parents, um, I cannot believe I'm going to say this, <laughs> but <laughs> no, welcome to creating with Chris Hunter. <laughs> no, thing, but don't you feel like, and maybe this age group will agree with me. Believe me. If my child told me he was gay or she was gay, I would love them profusely. However, sometimes I think that today's parents take one thing and they put that label on them right away. Oh, absolutely. Does that make sense? It's like they try to label them before there's even any real labeling that needs to be done. Right. Right. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, I, I agree know. with that. For sure. I wonder what it You're not like. letting children be children. No, they're not letting children be children and just, um, you know, uh, I'm reading one. Oh God, Rochelle, her kid had her kid has uh, is deaf, and when she went to the teacher and said that he's bullying me, they, the response is he's just playing, and then he ended up in a chokehold. Oh gosh, we need to teach Reese how to defend himself. <laughs> oh party with Lydia. My goodness. She had, I'm glad you quit. It was a dental office. She should have knocked out their teeth. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Trisha, I am. You didn't reply one, yet, Dina. One, uh, 100%. You have to love your children no matter when. And some parents need to be parents. Parents is. Annette, dad used his belt to discipline us. My dad used his belt too. My dad used his belt. Did you ever get a spanking, Chris? Did you ever get a spanking? Michael, I had to go out and pick my own switches. Okay, wait. Okay, so I'm going to tell you a funny story about because my mom was from Chicago and kind of had a voice talk like this with the accent a little bit. So one time, I don't remember what it was, but my dad said, oh, he's like, you take your brother out and go play with him. I'm like, I don't want to. He goes, you get in there and you're going to get a spanking. So I was all like, oh, so heartbroken and stuff like that. So I went in the bedroom and I sat on the bed and an hour goes by and I'm waiting and waiting. And my mom comes in and she goes, what's wrong? And I said, I'm upset. And she goes, why? She goes, I said, I'm going to get a spanking. And she goes, your dad fell asleep an hour ago. <laughs> <laughs> now, my dad was the type of dad that he would say, he'd get mad at you about something and say, sit right there. He said, you're going to get a spanking before this day's over with. Well, normally that would mean before this day's over with, if you're not careful, you're going to get a spanking. But by golly, before that day was over with, he came in and gave you a spanking for what he thought you were going to get a spanking for. The anticipation of waiting for that spanking was a heck of a lot worse than even that spanking. So did you get it no matter what? Or did you like try to like, okay, I'm going to be good the rest of the day? Did you try uh, to like? That wasn't, that wasn't, it was non-negotiable. <laughs> I mean, 
You just knew you were going to get one before the end of the day. You didn't know when. You didn't know. Oh, my God. Did you ever try to, like, make them ice cream or do something no. nice? For no. My you dad just... has now, as as I got older, had you know, has turned into a softy. It's oh. my, I mean, it's the funniest thing. Like, and, and I will say they have, they have said, you know, when, when I've given Kelly spanking, they've said, you know, that's not going to do any good. It didn't do any good with our kids. Learn from us. Right. I mean, they've said that. Right. Um, and I, I, giving Kel a spanking did nothing. It did nothing at all. All I had to do with Addison was give her one little spanking, and it was barely a spanking, and carry a wooden spoon in my purse. And she, I've never, Addison probably still thinks I have a wooden spoon in my purse. No, not really. But never even thought about having to give her a spanking again i probably my mother i probably sent my mother into a frenzy you know what i used to do that was horrible we'd go out to eat and they'd say what would you like to eat and i would go i think i'll have the cheeseburger no maybe i want the tomato sam the tomato soup Mm. I could not make up my mind. And I would sit there for like five minutes. Finally, my mom would go, we're going to go to the bathroom. I'd be like, I'll have the hamburger, please. The minute she said, we're going to have to go to the bathroom, I would make up my mind. But I used to probably drive her nuts with that. That's funny. I don't know why I did that. Okay, I'm going to read some things here. Uh, My dad was so great. My mom, okay, wait. Somebody said. My mom uh, would scold us, but 10 minutes later, she would say it's over to teach us not to hold grudges. I like that. That's awesome. That is awesome. Okay. Uh, Clara, it's Clara's birthday. Wait, no. It's my birthday. Oh, wait. I need to find out who's bathroom. Right. I put on... And that Wilson said they used to run around the house till she until they caught her. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Um, uh, let's see. I want to go back to. I have a, oh, wait, Josie. I, Josie says, I have a daughter that I'm always on edge about because she is bullied because she's adopted and some trauma issues from her first years of life. I'm constantly reminded that Sue is per- permanent because children don't cognitively understand. I worry constantly about it. life is hard, Michael and Chris. Josie, Josie, Josie. That's. Josie always needs our prayers for that. Josie, you always have my prayers for that. Josie, I sing that song that has your name in it every day, just so you know. Um, why is it, my sister raised her children not like me. My niece does, but my nephew doesn't have anything to do with me. Um, I'm sorry, Joyce. Oh. Now, uh, Michelle Kings, people like to bully nice people because they don't stand up to them. That is true. Um, I am not saying every. Okay, Trisha, I'm not saying, but some parents need to be parents, not be their child's friend. They know what their kid is doing. Who are they hanging oh, out yeah. with? Cassandra. I oh, agree yeah. with Trisha Hodge. I agree with that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Charlotte says, knocking people's teeth out could be a form of bullying. Yes, I know. I was being funny. Um, Terry Geisinger Green. My daughter is my hero. She's raising two autistic children, ages 14 and 11. She's teaching him, right? Violence only begets violence. If my husband was here, he'd be saying the opposite thing. (laughs) My brother came out of my mom shortly after my dad. My brother came out to my mom shortly after my dad died and outed 
my sister at the same time. My mom was very accepting. However, my dad would not have. Now both my brother and sister are married and very happy. Well, good for them. I'm glad. Mm -hmm. that's, that's wonderful. Um, Rochelle, he didn't want to be a tattletale, so it took a lot of guts for him to go to the teacher, then for him to be dismissed the way he was infuriated me. I agree with that. Uh, paint party with Lydia, she got the belt. So, and Becky had to cut her own switches too, Chris. I did. I sure did. They, Beth Baker Nelson is watching Hello. And Joyce Phillips Peterson got a switching every day. Oof. Um, June McFarland, I worked in the cosmetic industry, worked with many gay men, loved them all, and listened to their stories. Excuse me. Oh, that's great. Um, okay. Rochelle had to pick her own switches. And that being said, he has only had he has only had one switch in, in the past two years. So that's good. Uh, I got the belt. Amy got the belt too. But the funny thing is, me and my brothers would stuff our back in before. We <laughs> that's great. Uh, oh, paint party with Lydia. She run under the bed. I tried that one too. Um, okay. Whoa. Nina. Nina had her dad was married to a younger lady, the step monster, step monster. My sister and I felt dad was being abused. Why her? We decided he was going to live with my sister in a Sunday and he committed suicide the next morning before we could get him out of the situation. Oh. Ugh. Nina. I'm so sorry. That's awful. Um, oh, Mary, my mom would say that. Wait till your father gets home. Uh, and he would get the belt. Yep, I know that story. Oh. My dad did that once, too. He, like, faked that he was spanking us so that my mom thought <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny we never got that lucky that's so funny um edith i'm sorry you were bullied Ugh. Mm. i don't know she was so Edith is talking about in junior high, she was bullied and the her mom intervened and uh, I don't understand why that happens. I hate that. Uh-huh. Did you read Maria Nova? She said, I'd tell my kids I'm going to get the red belt, the one that doesn't show the blood on it. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. <laughs> Uh, my That's dad right, Michelle, look how good I turned out. Um, oh, we got we got quite a conversation here. Lots. Uh, I'm still trying to figure. Can somebody tell me whose birthday it is? Because happy birthday! It's Clara's birthday. Is it really? Well, we have to sing happy, happy birthday to her. Do you have a microphone? Hello. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Clara. Happy birthday to you. Cheers, Clara. Cheers. Uh, many, many more. I hope you have a great birthday. Yeah. Tell us if you do anything. Yeah, we want to know. We want to know did you get anything? Did you do anything? Did anybody do anything? Did anybody else sing you happy birthday? Um, I have a funny story about uh, getting a spanking, kind of. So my, my dad was big into uh, talking to us, like, you know, lecturing us. Yes. While sitting down. That's how Bruce is. And he loses their attention. And yes. 
So we were four boys lined up on the end of the bed, sitting probably with our heads down. Now, I don't know if it was me or my other brother, but my dad's walking back and forth. Now, I don't remember this, so they told me this. My dad's walking back and forth and like, you've got to clean your rooms. You got to do this. And and we're all just sitting there with our heads down because we're getting yelled at. So he stood, I'm going to say in front of me, he stood in front of me and I was had my head down and I just reached up with my hand and I pulled a zipper down. <laughs> you know why my mom said he lost it laughing and went out of the room. <laughs> Is that not, I don't know. I was too young to know what, I was too young to know what was going on. That's so. hilarious. Oh, God, Lori. She was beat up when she was in high school and put in the hospital. That's terrible. Oh, gosh. That is. My mom's favorite moon was she was going to send us to the moon with a rock, without a rocket. We knew that was time <laughs> to stop. That was... How come I can't ever get Leveda? Leveda. Leveda. I can never. Oh. <laughs> Kay said she begged her dad to spank her versus explaining why she did something. I begged for spankings. I got to where I was grounded all the time. And yeah. I scared it. I would beg for spankings and he'd say, nope, nope, you're grounded. And I'm not playing. There's a dance Friday night, please. Spank bang. Spank bang. <laughs> okay. We got an update on Clara Kristen, Clara Christina's. Uh, she said, thank you. She cooked a roast beef dinner and she bought her own cake, but did didn't have any because mom and I will were full. We'll have oh. it tomorrow. Just and it was just mom and her. You know what, Clara? I I'm um, glad you have your mom there wish, with you for your birthday. I wish I could have a birthday with my mom and I. So you are very lucky. You're very lucky. So, um, and I hope that you have a blessed birthday. Um, Lori, yes, we have all been through so many sad things, and I'm so happy. You know, I didn't really know that I was going to share that about my grandfather really. And it's not that I'm afraid to share it, but it was so nice. Uh, it's not nice. Why do I keep saying that? What am I trying to say? It's comforting to. Uh, comforting is a good yeah, word. Comforting. comforting is the better word. So yeah. what are you doing over there? Oh, I'm just your sister. I'm listening. I'm listening. I'm actually, I'm kind of enjoying this. I'm yeah. kind of, I mean, I mean, I mean, there are things that, you know, people like to talk about or people, you know, sometimes things need to be said, need to be talked about. Maybe Michael felt like he just needed to talk tonight. And so that's, that's what, this is what it looks like. Um, and I love that. I love that we can be so comfortable and have discussions and we can have so many people that are so comfortable to be in here having those discussions that we can, um, we can do that here. You know, this, this isn't something that, um, therapy hour. It's therapy hour. What Bev Brewer says. It is. I have to tell everybody and you agree. We don't ever talk about what we're going to talk about. Never. Never. We've mentioned, hey, maybe this. But Let's make the candles, you know, or something, but not. Yeah. We, so it is kind of all impromptu. So we appreciate you uh, letting us work through it in real time. And being here with us and chatting with us. I mean, it's yeah. awesome. I yeah. love that. I love that. Mary Reed, this is a good way to put it. She thinks it's good to bring out things that you need to talk about and release that energy that's built up inside. 
one hundred percent. Oh, thank you. Hey, who who wants to see my stuff I got from Mama P? Let's so see. it's vintage, vintage items that will be used in journals and um, vintage crafts and stuff like that. Okay. Here we go. Oh, what are you going to do with that? Well, you all, it has little pinholes in it and it's already messed up. So don't get upset when I say this. I'm going to rip it apart and use the fabric. And I'm going to use, I know, I'm going to use this precious little part right here on part of a journal area and the laces I'll use. But look at how precious it is. It is cute. Isn't it precious? So there's that one. Then there's this. Look. Oh, is that embroidery on the top? Huh? Is that embroidery in the top? Yes. Yep. Ooh. Yep. So cute. Little French knots. Look at how cute this one is. Now, is this like, do you know what baby this belonged to? Or no, you? no. She found them in a sale. She found them in a sale. Mm -hmm. And she purchases things and then she'll have a sale once a month. And she had all these treasures in her sale. So you guys save your pennies to go to Mama P's and Michelle's sales and you will find amazing vintage items like real beautiful, delicate vintage. Like look at this beautiful lace on this little baby's dress and we'll re reuse that, repurpose it, make it. What are you, you going to re reuse it? In? Well, like this lace right here, I will remove that lace and I will use that on a page of a book or something. Okay. Um, so we're giving new life to things that would just be tossed because they have dirt on them. They have stains on them. They have, you know, so it's not something another baby is ever going to wear again. So they're just going to be thrown away. So instead of them being just tossed or, um, discarded somehow we are going to give them new life by doing it through journaling which is like here's an example this is an old quilt hmm. and see it's it's all torn up right here but that's okay that just gives it character as far as i'm concerned this is frayed and tattered up here but i made a cute little pocket out out of part of the quilt this is part of the quilt, made more pockets, little places for you to put a pen, a pad of paper, whatever. Um, laces, see these little laces, um, like things like this. I, I could put one of those little vintage laces around something like that. Um, little pockets. These every page in this book is fabric. So just a little taste of an idea. Also, there's the, the ATC cards that I think I've shown them to, I'm pretty certain I've shown them to you before the ATC cards. You can put lace and things on those. Um, this, let's see, I'll show you. This is vintage paper clips with little scraps of vintage fabric and little lace. And this is actually a paper. It's called a hidden paper clip. It's got a vintage, vintage button on it. And they're hidden paper clips to put in your books. So little lace, little pieces of fabric, things like that are great to use in your journals. So we were talk. we did talk about this and we don't, uh, we don't have don't tell us now <laughs> but remember but maybe we should ask them now is because i'm going i'm going through this and we talked about this i have so much stuff of my mom and dad's that i don't know how to 
I don't know what to do with them. And I don't necessarily want to. And actually, Kathy, um, who's on here, who's my sister-in-law, was talking about her, her, uh, and maybe this is better for what we should do with our stuff. Because she has her first communion dress from when she got uh, her first communion. But she doesn't know what to do with it because none of her children are Catholic. So we were talking about it and, oh my God, I hope she doesn't get mad that I'm talking about this. But anyway, just maybe to, if you, but she said it's the first dress she really felt pretty in. So instead of making it a Catholic thing, base what you're going to do with it on how you felt when you wore it. Does that make sense? Yes. It does to me. But we were, what I'm getting at is, is sometimes I have so many memories that I'm still trying to go through. And I've been, you have to think really hard about what you want to do with them. And I think this is where you come in, especially with your talents, is what do we do with stuff that you can't necessarily get rid of, but you really don't know what to do with it either. Yeah. And you, I, for me, this is what I always think of. Like my mom has some doilies that she made. I want to think of how can I use those to give them to her grandchildren who would look at them in a different way. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Like they probably yes. wouldn't put it on the table. So no, it does. Yeah. It definitely makes sense. Yeah. Yep. Yep. What's everyone saying? I was such a bad girl. I got the belt all the time as a child. I could never do that to my kids. Dina, I can't even believe you were a bad girl. Yeah, Dina, actually, Dina's currently going through that right now with yeah. Kenny's mom's things. Well, I have this, uh, well, I told you about my dad's test scores. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yes. That I want to do, we're going to do something with those this maybe Saturday, when we do Saturday Night Live, you can uh -huh. work, yep. work, your ma work your magic. Work my magic. Yeah, absolutely. Amy says her mom always wanted to get a quilt made of all my brother's clothes, the one who. Uh, oh. Young. Oh, wow. Well, you know, I think quilts, memory quilts are a great thing. Um, are, are you interested in quilting? I mean, like, I'm asking the person that, okay, wait, um, yes, Michael. So I'm coming up with all kinds of crafts to do for clothes materials from loved ones that are really cool. I'm going to do a live on it one day. Several awesome ideas. So don't get rid of them. <laughs> Use a doily for boho wall decor. That's yeah. Yeah. Well, um, what, what we'll do is we are going to, and Michael doesn't know this yet, but we're going to, we're going to go through his things and I'm going to want through those things. And I want him to pick out the, I'll, let's use doilies as an example. I'm going to want him to pick out because he knows his, um, the grandchildren. Well, he knows um, the family members. Well, he'll be able to say, Oh, this looks like Gracie or this looks like Stephanie or, you know, um, right. he'll be able to do that. And so then when he picks those things, then we'll talk about what is their aesthetic and out of doilies, a boho wall hanging is a perfect gift for somebody that has a, you know, more Western boho type um, aesthetic to their home. And so, those that those will be the things that we talk about 
the process that you go through in deciding what are you going to do with something. Another thing that I think is important that I'm kind of going through with my mom and dad stuff. Um, I've never really done this until recently. And I mean, I kind of did when I was younger, but I'm going to show you this. This is part of my project that I can't talk about. I'm going to show you this box. You're so bad. Put them I down. Know, I don't think anybody's on. I don't anything. care. Put them down. So They may pause it and zoom in. <laughs> those are <laughs> those are my mom and dad's love letters to each other when they were in the service. And <clears throat> I you have, need to stop talking. No, just the fact that I read him. I'm just wanting to say, I guess what I'm trying to say is if you have things, sometimes spending time and looking at them and like this reading them. I see my parents in a totally different light than I Oh, did. absolutely. You know what I mean? Like absolutely. Yes. Yeah. I do. I do. So I mean, reading those made me feel so uh did you feel a little invasive? Did you feel like you were invading their personal space at all? I felt like I got to know my dad a little better than what I knew him. I like that. I like that. I have an idea for this lamp. Sure, sure. While we were sitting here, I got I came up with it. Kathy's probably fallen over her sleep. He she probably is, except it's earlier there. Yeah, that's true. Okay. So here's my lamp. Hold on. Hold on. Oops, oops, oops. Okay. Here's my lamp right here. Look, I have this lace that would be kind of fun to put in between. Oh, let's see. Hold on. Ugh. I'm Okay, so I'm going to be honest. Oh, Michael, you're never going to like this lamp, so you don't need to. No, 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 wait. I would actually take the lamp part, uh -huh. the bottom. I would steal that from you. That is an excellent Isn't lamp. it gorgeous? The designer, I would, like, use that lamp. It's really cool. I'm just, I just want, I'm just not with the top. I'm not sure what's happening. I know you're not. It's shabby chic. No, I I mean, I know, but I mean, am I going to see that bulb all the time? Well, I'm going to put a beautiful um, uh, vintage bulb in it. So when I see you, though, I have a better top. A better. You do? Yeah, I have a lot of them. Okay, then we have to put a hold on this for a minute. Well, why? I'm talking about the finial. Oh, this is not what's staying on here. That was the first thing oh. I told everybody. I said, this is just holding it on here. But I still have some really great ones. Good. Well. I need a good finial. Okay. I need a good finial. Yes. No, it needs a big, elaborate, over-the-top finial, I yeah. believe. Yeah. Well, maybe. It depends on what you're doing there. Well, okay. So here's what I'm doing. So, well, I'm looking at it going, oh, this might be kind of fun. <laughs> Maria. <laughs> what did she say? What did she say? Her husband, Gary, or I guess it's her husband. Gary calls shabby chic, shabby shit. Oh. Ah! <laughs> okay. So look, I like this lace, like just a little piece of lace right here. Okay. With some keys and some crystals. Look, I also love this little piece of this through here do it like this and once you get that all the way around and mix some of the vintage laces all the way around i think it'll be very interesting i think it'll be really cute but what there's some creative process that's holding you up what is it or you just haven't had not time haven't had time Oh, I haven't had time. That is the, that's the only thing holding me up. But oh. I just sat right here going, oh, 
oh, I had these laces I was getting ready to put up and I thought, why couldn't I put those in between and have the keys hang in? And then I found this really cool cord in some stuff that Mama P sent me. And it's just like a gold cording. And wouldn't that be cool with some of the crystals hanging from it or something? It's a very vintage looking gold. So are you going to put like a vintage bulb in it? Yes. Yes. It'll have, it will have um, yeah. one of the amber looking bulbs in it. The lamp is phenomenal. Like I Yeah, see. it is. I seriously love the lamp. Yeah, it's an amazing lamp. It it had flowers on it. Oh, like ceramic? No, uh yes, but they like were all broken and stuff. They weren't even salvageable. So there's like little places for flowers on them. I thought about putting some type of flower. Okay, so Michael, I am no designer, but I'm with you. I can't see where this is going. Trisha, we're going to have to trust. Trust um, the process. Trust the process. Okay, um, somebody said something. Oh, Michael, you are beautiful and have beautiful features. Oh, Maria said that. Thank you. Michael's like not sister. Huh? Okay. What? Wait. What? I, I think I have to back the truck up here. Um, oh, Heidi, I love that. Um, the lamp hardware is beautiful. Michael, you are beautiful. You have beautiful features. Thank you, Maria. That's so sweet. What? You just wanted to read that twice? No, I didn't. Say, it was a reply, and I was like, I didn't oh, understand. I'm joking. <laughs> I thought there was more to it. Uh, I'm going to go through my mom's house so I make piles when my siblings are and make them pick and choose each time or else it'll be donated. This is a four level house, 50 years of stuff, and eventually we have to sell in Canada. At least my city of Windsor, vintage items are not valued, sadly, unlike the United States. Oh, look at the cherry. Aren't they the cutest? Those are so cute. Okay. Uh Caroline just asked, are they, um, she asked if they were, she said, I've asked before those cherries that you want to add, are they pendants or beads? They're pendants, little pendants. Aren't they cute? I if probably this, will not add it to this. I'm going to be honest. This isn't done by Saturday. I think we're going to have to do that together. I want to see this come to, uh, well, maybe we'll do this on Saturday, too. Yeah. Oh, Darla needs that cherry. Isn't that cherry darling? Well, those cherries are supposed to go in my shop, but you guys know how I feel about cherries. So I don't know if they're going to go in the shop or not. What are you going to do with this lamp when it's done? <laughs> Actually, I have a little desk over there I'd like to just put it on, but I don't want it to just be up in my craft room, probably in my dining room on a little table or something. I don't know. I don't know. Inspiration for this or did you just, is this your? Uh, I did actually. Tammy, Tammy loves vintage is a vintage designer here in mm -hmm. the in the um online space and i actually saw her hang keys from a lampshade probably four years ago when i first met her and i when i saw this lamp and this lampshade this lampshade before i took it apart it was dry rotted so it was like falling apart but before I put it, took it apart, it had the most itty bitty, teeny tiny pleats all the way through it. And it was like an organza fabric over the shade. 
It was absolutely, and with these little ruffles, it was absolutely. It sounds very 1940s. Yes, but it was very dry rot, where all you had to do was touch it and it crumbled. Mm. Yeah. Uh, Maria Katharinova, I used to collect. Uh, oh, Maria, I love Capa de Monte too. I have, I think I still have a piece of that. I love that stuff. Do you know Capa de Monte? Uh, no, I don't think I it's do. It's very cherub, cherubic. Oh, yes. Yes, it is. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, yes, I love that too. Maria has a porcelain cherry basketball that mom purchased in 1978. It's beautiful. Oh, I'd love to see it. Picture oh of that. Oh my gosh. I would love to see a picture of that too, Clara. You and I love cherries. And what's the, I wonder what our thing with cherries is. I don't know. I it's I since since I started my page, I've been saying I'm bringing cherries back. And now all of a sudden cherries are back. It must have been me because yeah. it couldn't have been anybody else. No, it couldn't have been anybody else. But what did the do you like the cherry taste? I love the taste of cherries. Yeah, but I, do I love cherries. I think they're the cutest little fruit. Yeah, I like them too. I think they're so cute. I have a 1950s cherries cherry dress. Oh, I love that. I do. Yeah, I wonder what I wonder why we're so what I wonder what the meaning of them are. Do you think it's like an American thing? I mean, do you think that's why they became popular, like in the 40s and 50s? I don't know. They remind me. Yeah, I think I was obviously I wasn't born in the 50s, but the 50s I think is probably my favorite time. I like the 40s and the 50s. I like the well, I probably would have to say 40s and 50s too because I love all the 40s dresses and they they really overlapped. They really overlapped with a lot of things in the 40s and 50s. Um, but I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I just love the I had cherry wallpaper in my apartment in New York. Um, let's see. I love lemons too, Josie. Yeah, lemons are a good thing but too. Cherries are by far, if I see something with cherries on it, I'm looking at a price tag going, can I buy that? Can I have that? Well, wait, yes, Clara, Becky, with my red hair. Clara has four cup of, de, cup of de month. How do I see those? She has them up for sale. Really? I'd like to see those. Clara, send me a it's Michael Payne Conat. Send me a thing. Uh, oh, Lori Ramirez used to take their kids to the uh, cherry orchards to pick cherries. Love that. Love that. My grandmother had a cherry tree in Oklahoma, which is, it's very hard. Very hard to do. Mm -hmm. But I used to pick the cherries off that tree. It's very hard. Uh, show us your new bling again, please. Oh, the the boxes of it or just the cherry? Um, designs by Dina. I'm a pineapple girl. She's part Hawaiian. She's a pineapple girl. Doesn't the pineapple have some odd meaning? Well, yes, but that's definitely... <laughs> Swingers, isn't it? Isn't it swingers? <laughs> isn't it? Yes, it is swingers. <laughs> like here in uh, here in Oklahoma, there's a neighborhood, Crown Heights. That's their symbol is a uh, pineapple, but just because it means welcome. Oh, okay, because in Florida, there's a few neighborhoods, and I think it might be because. I don't even like Wayne to see me naked. Why would I want to have somebody else? <laughs> I mean, come on. <laughs> Welcome upside down pineapple is swingers. Oh, Lydia. Pain, Lydia knows a lot more than painting over there. She <laughs> 
Sandra, you're killing me. You're breaking my heart. What'd you do to your Capa de Monte? She can't remember. I have two busts that are. Is that the brand? Yeah. I need to look at them and see what they are. So, Lori Ramirez, where do you live? Yes, I know where Ponca City is. And I did a wedding there mm, maybe five or six years ago. Uh, but yes, I have been there. Are, is, do you live in Oklahoma or you just went to visit there? Yeah, Ponca City is. Oh, she just went to visit. She doesn't live here. Oh, she doesn't live here. Uh -uh. Okay. Nina was into strawberries. Had a neat strawberry wallpaper in her kitchen and Wedgwood matching dishes. I love it. I was in. Pineapple is a Trisha's. Trisha's keeping it rated G. Pineapple is a sign of friendship. Yes, it is. Lord, <laughs> Mary, oh, she's in California. <laughs> yeah. The boxes of bling. Is okay. I'll get them out. Let me see here. Oh, Mary, they would sell Capa de Monte and QVC. That's horrible. Oh, Sandra, you're breaking my heart. Hey, Sharon, how are you tonight? Yeah, we are late nighters tonight. I guess we're waiting for the box. They're very heavy. Are we going to look at all those? Yes, Michael. Y'all, Michael called me and said, can I go live and test my microphone? I didn't know there was going to be that much bling. Okay. Y'all want to see some of them that I got today in? Let's see your most recent. Oh, you want to see some of the most recent? Well, okay. Somebody said, oh my gosh, Chris. These, I think, are on the website. Now, what would I do with that? Look, it says love on it. Oh, Valentine's Day. Can, can that be beads. put on a necklace? They're beads. They can be put on a necklace, on a bracelet. They can be put on where is it where is it <laughs> Trisha goes Michael is tired he has spit class with chicken and bugs <laughs> yeah they can be put on pens see these pens okay so like that's one these oh, Charlotte, me too, Charlotte. I just noticed it a little bit ago and was laughing. It's cool, but I was. What laughing. is it? <laughs> We're laughing at that. <laughs> the lamp with the deer head on it. <laughs> Where? Oh, oh, my. Yeah, that's, a, that's funny. It's a magnet. It's a magnet. Oh, okay. It goes on your refrigerator or something. And I just sat it up there because I was, I had to it's kind of cool. it's like There's a little rhino too. Um, blingy flowers. I like that. Aren't those pretty? Uh, let's see. Oh, these are really cute. Look at these. Okay. So there's a fur ball on the back of them. Oh, balls. Balls. There's a fur ball on the back of it. This is a bead. And the front of it. Look at how cute that bead is. Oh, that is cute. Now, do you sell these? Yes. These are those things I told you Addison has been working to get up on the website for me. crown this is flowers dangles on it um 
Okay, so there's a few out of that one. Oops. I read your thing, uh, Maria, about the lamps. I like about that. what? She found the place that she got these lamps. I'm going to look at it when we're done. Uh, let's see. In this one. Oh, look. This one also has a little fur ball on the back of it. And it... Is, is a has, has a bee on it with a crown. Oh, that's cool. Isn't that cute? That is cute. Um, Y'all, they're just fun. And we've got pins that you can put them on. And you can do bracelets. Like this one is a bracelet one. You would put several of these on a bracelet. It's just a beautiful blingy piece. <laughs> Josie. <laughs> What'd she say? <laughs> she goes, if I wouldn't work Addie to like a dog, she could maybe get some things done for you. <laughs> that's right, Josie. Look at how sweet this one is. Oh, that's cute. Isn't that cute? Oh, I love that. But I also am using them to make dangles for my. I, Bev, I don't know if they'll fit Pandora bracelets or not. Um, I uh, am making them to using them to make dangles and tassel ornaments for my um, journals and stuff. Like, look at how precious this heart is. I've got some some that are going out in shipping tomorrow. Now, do you like those and then you can't, like, you don't want to use them? Sometimes when I like something, I don't know. Like, I'm, like, saving it. And I don't I'm like it. that. Yeah. But I'm not going to, I'm not going to be like that. Look at how sweet this one is. This one's really cute. Um, this has taken me several months going through different wholesalers. Look at how sweet that one is. What would you do with that one? I would put it on a pin or this one actually would dangle really cute from a little girl's journal or, um, I could think of a million things to do with them, really, to be honest. Okay, I'll show you some of the newest ones I just got. And let me show you. And these are inspired. These are inspired. They do have holes. How do you get away with that? They're inspired. They look like Coco Chanel. <laughs> They're inspired. They're not Coco Chanel. <laughs> No, I'm afraid to show anymore. Michael will be saying things. I have a funny picture to you show. You all are going to have to go to my website to see anything inspired. I wonder if they can see this. So, Look at how beautiful this little poofy one is. Oh, that is cute. Look at this picture. This picture is from like 1940-something. This is my dad's school picture, but I want you to notice somebody. Uh, how do I get it? Okay, so this is my dad. But can you see it? But check this little guy. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. This guy. Right? Do you see him? Yeah. Look, look how he's posing. <laughs> he's there. Yes. He's going like this. 
I see him. He now, looks like I mean, a little Michael. <laughs> I just noticed him the other day, and I'm like, well, look at him in 1940. Look at him. There he is. Isn't that funny? Keyword inspired. Rhonda knows where are you getting these? Uh, Rhonda, oh, I'm a wholesaler. Uh, I'm not tired, really. I'm okay. He did. He had it going on. <laughs> Claire says I'm, <laughs> I'm that girl. I can't use that. I need you to probably say grew that. up to be a model. There's one in here. And I'm just going to cover it up, y'all, because these are for my journal. I ordered these two things for my journal that I'm doing, my inspired designer journal. Louis Vuitton, inspired by. <laughs> Look at these beautiful hearts. Oh, I love these. These are gorgeous. What time Saturday night is our uh, chat time? I don't know. What are we gonna? Um, I don't know. Do people like when we come on at eight? I like that heart. You, t I know, and it pretty. You all tell us what time you want. So we need to make something clear. This. Uh, oh, Michael got the look. So I need to make something clear about these things. Are you selling these? What? Are you selling these? These boxes of beads? Yes. Yes. Okay. On your website? Yes. Okay. And right now, there's not very many of them up there. There's about 25, I think, up there right now. Is that something you need to do is upload them? Yeah, I should have been doing that here for the past two and a half hours. <laughs> no. Yeah. On. You know you love. Yes, yes, I need to upload them. Yes, and these I have ready for Addison to upload all these. So can you but say? I'm this? gonna have to do it because can she. You say, can you say this on here? How much is one, or can you not? Say uh, they're all different. They just go. They just have to go to the website and look. The website you, is creating with Chris Hunter dot shop. It's easy. Easy peasy. I'm gonna sell I'm gonna sell something on your shop. Okay, what do you want to sell? I'm gonna sell a <laughs> what are you gonna sell, Michael? How about a lunch date with me? A lunch date with you. We no. could auction that off and make better money. You think so? Uh-huh. Oh, Pain Lydia is going to bed. Good night, Lydia. Oh, uh, thank you, uh, Lydia, for the kind words. Um, okay, Mary Reed lives on the West Coast and wants to know what time we'll be there. We'll be on. If you do exclamation point shop in the Facebook chat, it will give you. What else can we sell on shop? Um, what would they, would they like it if we sold those necklaces that I gave you? Mm -hmm. Some of these beads are going to be made into necklaces like those. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. good. Uh, yeah, I'm going to sell balls on my website. Shut <laughs> <laughs> it off, Jen. Balls.
You're welcome, Caroline. Look, everyone's saying balls. Balls, balls, balls. Excellent. What time would you guys like us to come on on Saturday night? Remember, we did talk about um, having dinner with them. Yeah, that'd be fun. I it has to be after my event on Saturday, which is eight, right? It goes till eight. Well, I am on. Did you already check or something? No, I just said till eight. I have to look for sure. Yeah, I think it's till eight. Yeah, so we can't even, I can't even leave the house to come to you until eight o'clock. You might have to Uber. <laughs> Why? I'm just being funny. I won't be, I won't be drunk. Clara says 10 p.m. is good. Renee, or, hi, Renee. Are you just joining us? She says, hey, Michael and Chris. Crisp. Crisp. <laughs> Trisha said, Chris, he asked you about the time Saturday and you told us <laughs> exclamation point shop. <laughs> oh, it says she works till nine and it's all about her. No, she okay. works till eight and it's all about her. Just kidding. That's hilarious. Well, see, it, even, I mean, we could have a late dinner. It's not like we're, yeah. we, um, jump on and we only stay an hour and we get off. So does everybody hear me better with the microphone? That was the whole point of us going live. That was the whole point of this evening. Was it easier to hear me tonight? I'm waiting. Michael. I'm waiting. Yes. It's Mary after Reed. midnight. Trisha Hodge said, yes. Yes, Mike is awesome. Great. Yes. 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 There's a bad lag, Trisha said. A bad lag? A lag, uh-huh. She didn't say that online. She just, yeah, she did. She just said oh. it. We're on the same one. <laughs> oh. There's a bad lag. She didn't say it. Yes, hear you great now. I need um, Rose here tonight. Yeah, Rose has not been here. No, she wasn't. Oh, here. oh, you know what? She's not felt very good. Oh, really? Yeah, she has not felt very good. Keep her in your prayers. Carol wants me to come to your house. No. She says no to me. I said I would go, but I have a feeling she'd get yelled at. We have dogs and a... Uh, you think I get yelled at? <laughs> what are you exactly doing with this? She doesn't want to answer that. Um, I got. What am I doing with what? I'm me. If I go to your house, I'm going to pick up things and go. Exactly. What are you doing with this? Oh, I know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, he's not allowed to come over here. No. Uh. I know I miss the balls too. And thank you. I'm glad it's <laughs> was that a mic or a mic is awesome. That's cute. Uh, Maria, I don't know what kind they are. I'll I'll send you the I'll send you the thing on Facebook. It's downstairs. So how far do we live from each other? We live about 30 minutes. minutes about 30 minutes. So um So maybe we'll go on like eight or nine. Nine? Yeah. Nine, probably. Nine. Let's say nine. Since I can't leave here until eight. That's how it goes. Yeah. So um do we have anything else we need to say? Anything else you want to talk about? 
Yeah. We're gonna get that lamp done. Yes. Am I bringing it to your house to finish it? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Michael. Yes. Renee, no, we'll probably be together Saturday night unless something happens, something comes uh, up. Josie, I love you guys. I know, Maria. Maria, do we need to do one together? Like Shaman Aminami, Shibbity Dang. Maria, send me a message. Send me a message and, and let me know. Okay. Yeah, we do Saturday night like this. Maybe a little different. I really love tonight that we talked about good things, bad things. And I'm so glad that everybody shared. Um, I am glad that everybody feels like this is a safe place to share things. Because I don't think that we um, I have. have a lot of safe places to share things. Good, bad, funny, sad, mm -hmm. stuff like that. So I really, uh, I appreciate it for myself, but I appreciate reading everybody's. And I hope that everybody feels like we're there for them because that's something that is important to me is to be there for people. So. Uh, and and Michael and I have talked about this. Well, you just want to come on here and talk sometimes and yeah chat about whatever comes up. So this was perfect. This was very organic. It just happened this way. We were going to test out Michael's microphone. I said, okay, come go live with me because I've got to do this lamp anyway. And um, it, what was supposed to happen happened. So it was good. Yeah. Was good. I didn't know it was going to sound this long. I have a mask. Oh, yeah. on. I'm glad. I, I have a face mask on. So I'm probably going to look 40 by tomorrow. You guys, he makes me sick. Where is, where is Suzanne at? She's probably at home in bed. She made a comment on one of my things the other day and said something. I can't remember what she said, but yeah, I'm, I'm tired. I've got totally dazzled. Tomorrow at noon. I will be dazzling up the world, or tomorrow at one, I'll be dazzling up the world. And um, I have, I'm going to try to go to spin, but not that early. <laughs> but I have a doctor's appointment. Oh, he's got a massage. <laughs> because he had I, his facial I, today. And then I, no, I didn't get a facial today. I got one the day before yesterday. No, when was it? It was last Saturday, Friday. And then I'm going to go to lunch with a friend of mine, a very dear friend of mine. Oh, I didn't know you were taking me to lunch. Oh, It'll yeah. have to be after Totally Dazzled. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I love that, Michael, that you're going to get to go do that. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Mary. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. I do want to say remember, I know. Let's say a prayer good night. Okay. You want to say a rooted combo with Michael and Chris or Chris and Michael? Clara said a weekly segment called Deep Rooted Combo. I like that. I like that. I love that. Oh my gosh, Leveda's got to get up in four hours to take her grandson to work. Stop by the spin class. <laughs> Renee, Michael, I think them doctor's appointments, you just like them kisses. <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow's, not a, tomorrow's not a kissing day. Tomorrow's <laughs> a, so. Oh, yeah. that's hilarious. Okay, let's let's just all say a good night prayer and Heavenly Father, I just ask that each one of our friends here find peace tonight while they sleep, that they are able to lay all of their troubles at your feet in knowing that you will take care of us, that we don't need to take care of a thing. Heavenly Father, I want to lift anybody up that has um, illness, that needs healing. We want to lift up those people, their doctors, their teams, anybody that's working to help heal them. 
you know who they are, and uh, we know that you'll take care of them too. Thank you for a beautiful day. Thank you for my friend Michael, and thank you for all of my friends here. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you guys. I love all of you. Have a good night and have a good day tomorrow. See you Saturday. Good night, you guys.